Welcome to the Pace XL training video. I'm Jody Berzinski. This short introduction to the Pace XL system is going to take you through a three-step setup process. Your predominant patients in the orthotics and prosthetic setting will have drop foot as their main concern. The same setup process can be used with other patient populations. There are three steps to easy setup with the Pace XL. Locate electrodes, set up the system, walk and tune. So the first thing you wanna do is have your patient seated in a chair that's stable, have them seated with their knee slightly flexed, foot not planted on the floor so that you can see the foot moving when you position the electrodes and get everything in the right place. Please refer to the drop foot electrode placement video or handouts to see all of the different electrode placement options. I'm gonna show you our standard electrode placement option here. With drop foot, the black lead is our active lead. I'm gonna find the fibular head here. I want my electrode to capture that nerve and the bifurcation. The front upper quadrant of the electrode is gonna be over the fibular head, so it's hard underneath that front upper quadrant and soft behind and beneath it. The red electrode lead is our inactive. I'm gonna position this right over the anterior tib, and now our electrode placement is ready to go. At this time, you can take the wireless foot switch and put it in your patient's shoe. The foot switch is gonna go into the heel cup of the shoe for the drop foot electrode placement. And then I'm gonna clip the foot switch onto either the laces or the shoe itself. I wanna make sure that foot switch stays in the heel cup of my shoe. So I wanna make sure I get my foot in there securely on top of that foot switch. You have to have a snug fitting shoe, not too much cushion in that insole and you can't have a shoe or a sandal or a flip-flop that's gonna flop around. That foot switch has to be contained, so it has to be a closed shoe. The next step is set up on the device. I'm gonna press and hold the control knob till I hear the audible beep. I'm gonna check my battery life. And then what I'm gonna do is call the three button trick. It's a trick where you push down on the control knob and simultaneously press the play pause button and the test button at the same time. You'll hear a series of beeps and on my screen, I see that it says new setup. I'm gonna click the control knob to select new setup. I'm gonna click to select drop foot. And I'm gonna click again to select heel rise. So now I've put in that I want a drop foot protocol and I want heel rise off that foot switch to trigger the stimulation to turn on. On my screen, I can see it says output current. Now I get to test the current to set the intensity that I need to get my foot to lift. So by Clicking on output current, I select output current as my choice. I press the test button on the front of the device. And while it's making the sound, I can turn up the control knob intensity until I see my foot lift down below. You can only turn up the intensity while the sounder is on. That's a safety mechanism. It means I can't just accidentally turn it up, but I can test again just to make sure I have the right intensity to pick my foot up. At this point, I will click the control knob one last time to save that current. The intensity is now set in the device. And this is ready to go for my patient to walk. So I can clip it on my belt and on the front of the knob here, I'm gonna push play. We'll hear the Bluetooth pair and now I can walk. After taking that first walk, I've observed the gait pattern. I've assessed whether or not the program parameters are set correctly so that the stimulation timing is appropriate. Now I can look back into the settings here. I can make any changes I want by simply scrolling the control knob to change the rising ramp, the extension time, the falling ramp, any of those settings that are discussed in the setup menu. And I can select them by clicking the knob and then making adjustments by scrolling the knob. If I'm done with all of my settings, I'm just gonna click exit and I'm gonna let my patient walk. 